Hey guys, it's Prince Rich with Rich Technology Group, and in today's video, we are going to discuss how to block and reduce robocalls and spam phone calls. Again, that is how to block and reduce robocalls and spam phone calls. For those of you who are watching, I don't have to explain to you that the robocalls, especially with this whole EU internet regulations thing where now privacy data can't be shared uh, online and whatnot like it used to be. The reason why you're seeing so many robocalls is because now that a lot of these scammers and legitimate spammers who have in the past purchased your personal information like emails and social media profiles and all that stuff, now because that stuff has been legally mandated in the United States and in the UK and the European countries and whatnot, they have shifted their efforts to spamming you and driving you nuts with the godforsaken robocalls. Um, before we get into this, I want you guys to know that we actually deal with these. We have some ways that we have uh, abetted them to some degree, but I'm going to go into some pretty in-depth detail of ways to reduce them and also some ways to block them. So for those of you watching who've got a phone system, whether it's hosted IP, well, this is going to be specifically to hosted IP because unfortunately, if you're using an old school PBX and you're watching this, your phone system quite literally doesn't have the capability or the newer technology to be able to do what we're going to be discussing. So for those of you watching that have an old school analog or, uh, uh, you know, antiquated phone system, you need to get with me or somebody to get a newer phone system. For those of you who are watching that have that currently have a voice over IP phone system, grab a pen and pad. We're going to go into some things and this should make your day a little quieter as far as the annoying calls, automated and legitimate uh, cold callers. Okay, so point number one, I just want to discuss that first of all, the reason why you're getting the calls is because your number is sold to the highest and in a lot of cases, the lowest bidder. Your number is quite literally being sold to marketing companies and to big corporations so that they can, you know, contact you and offer you whatever widget they've got or talk to you about whatever insurance plan or health insurance thing that they've got or whatever it may be. There's a multitude of different ones out there. But the short of it is, is that's why this is happening. But there are some other reasons that may be uh, directly or indirectly caused by you and your staff of why it's happening. And we're going to get into that as well. So. Ways to reduce these calls. We're going to talk about reduction and then actually blocking. Number one, ways that you can reduce the amount of spam calls and robocalls that you get is to put yourself on the national do not call list or the do not call registry. Um, below this video in the description, I'm going to actually insert a link to where you can go and that explains the steps that you can take on their website steps that you can take and how to put your number or phone numbers on this do not call registry. So I will put that under the video for those of you who are interested to go do that. Number two, you need to be selective about where you post or publish your number. Um, it's the internet age. We all know this. It's the age of subscriptions and, you know, enter your personal phone number or your business phone number and email to download this ebook, you know, enter this, uh, enter your phone number and your email address here and subscribe here to, to, to get into this sweepstakes or into this contest. I'm not saying that you shouldn't sign up for things. I mean, you can't be scared to go out there and put your information out, but you need to be selective. You need to also understand back to point number one that I discussed about your information is sold to the highest bidder. You need to understand that even if you do give out your phone number and information to a specific company, even though they may not be the one that is actually spam calling you or robo calling you, they might actually sell your data to some other third party company that is then going to turn around and robo call you or spam call you or whatever that may be. So um, just be mindful and be selective about where you put your phone number as well as your email address. Um, and that should, you know, kind of help reduce some of the unnecessary spam and robo calls that you receive. Point number three is cut on the auto attendant on your phone system. Um, for those of you watching, if you've got a voice over IP phone system or you've got some sort of like an analog PBX, even though I said this video wouldn't apply to people that have an analog PBX, this one actually does. If your system, regardless of uh, what it is, has any sort of auto attendant function, cut the auto attendant on and that will greatly, greatly reduce the amount of robocalls and spam calls you can get. 
The reason why is because most of the robocalls that you get, they're automated. There's some sort of automated thing, as you've probably heard, that calls in and it's asking you for your name or it's trying to have like an almost personable like conversation with you. It's an AI or of some sorts that is trying to basically mimic, uh, you know, normal human speech. Even though they can do that, most of them, I want to say maybe 80% of them that I've encountered, maybe more than that, actually, maybe closer to 85% of them that I've encountered, they do not have the smarts to be able to actually listen to your auto attendant and listen to options such as if you're calling for sales or to speak with Prince Rich, press one. If you're calling, you know, about phone and internet service, press two. So they get stuck. They don't know how to quite listen and dial numbers. They can only listen and interact with whatever they've been pre-programmed with. So a little more than 80% of the time in my experiences, cutting on your auto attendant will greatly, greatly reduce the amount of those calls that you get. Um, to go a little further, we personally prefer the personal touch here at Rich Technology Group. We don't usually prefer auto attendant because I like the whole when somebody calls, they get me saying, uh, Rich Technology Group, this is Prince speaking, how can I help you? However, we were getting so many robocalls about 90 days ago, we actually had our auto attendant turned off. We, keep it, we kept it turned off and had our recording saved and the programming saved. We were getting so many robocalls, people calling me up, I was getting calls about, uh, you know, this is a health insurance such and such company uh, to talk to you about your annual health insurance review, you know, and I'm already covered and I don't know why they're calling me and I've not even been looking to shop for any health insurance or anything like that for myself personally or the business or the family. And I'm getting these calls that are completely not related to anything that's going on in my personal or uh, business life. Um, I was also getting robocalls about, uh, we're calling about uh, the extended warranty on your car. That would have been great and all if the car that they were calling about wasn't a car that I quite literally sold like seven to 10 years ago. So even though I really hated to do it and cut on the auto attendant because we personally, I personally like to answer the phone as a live person when my clients and contacts um, call in, we were, I was getting so many robocalls, like somewhere between 14 to 25 of them a, a day. It was killing my productivity. And I really had to weigh the option of, and this, this is the same thing I want those of you out there watching that do have auto attendant capability, but you're he hesitant to cut it off. You've really got to decide, is your productivity more important than some people maybe getting up, maybe getting a little bit upset because they get an automated thing that they have to dial numbers to get to you versus getting straight to you. You've got to decide. Um, we found that most of our customers, since we're a phone and internet and phone system sales brokerage company, we figured that they wouldn't mind if they get a, a, a nice phone system uh, attendant that's laid out well and simplified before they get us. If anything, that shows our clients what we're capable of, the types of phone systems that we can get them with the advanced features and you know simplified auto attendants that can help streamline their calls. Your business may be different, so the choice is yours. Okay, now I wanna get into ways that you can permanently block some of these calls. You're not ever gonna block all of them, but you can block some of them, so let's get into this. The first thing is to call the phone company. Um, this is the most tedious one of the three ways to do this that I have. Um, like I mentioned before, I was getting somewhere on average, according to my phone system reports, I was getting somewhere on average 13 to 25 um, robocalls or, or spam calls a day. So for me to call Vonage Business, who is our carrier, every single day and say, hey guys, I've got this list of people that called me, can you block them? Um, we can actually do that in our portal because Vonage Business and most any hosted voice over IP phone system carrier these days, not just Vonage, it's all of them have a login where you can go in and you can see the calls that came in and you can selectively just click a checkbox and hit block, 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 block. But that still is super duper tedious. For those of you who are watching this video right now and you don't have a voice over IP phone system, you're using like an old school PBX, you're gonna have to actually go in and do this 100% manually in your system. How you would do that, I don't know because even though we did work on old PBXs way back in the day for some big corporations, it's been forever and a half. So I don't really know how that even works on some of those anymore. What I do know is that it would be super tedious. So this one, 
call your phone carrier and have them block it. Will it work? Yes, but it is a lot of work. It is tedious. So let's get to point number two, which is a little easier. Call reporting and manual blocking via the caller ID inside of your hosted voice over IP system. Back to what I was talking about before, if you're using a hosted IP phone system like Vonage Business, Nextiva, Ring Central, Jive Communications, 8x8, the list goes on, you have an administrative portal that you can log into and you can actually see the calls that came in, um, so on and so forth. You can go in there and manually block these numbers. Um, again, it's tedious, but it's better than calling the phone company because you can do it at any time of the day. Uh, the other thing with doing it that way is you can go in and block multiple ones at the same time and you can put them in a list. So you can even categorize them and put them in a list like, you know, insurance companies, whatever, so on and so forth. You can organize it however you want in case you need to go back and unblock somebody later. Number three, which is one of the best ways, is an add-on service with your current service provider. Again, if you're using a hosted system, most all of them have some sort of service and it usually doesn't cost very much. I've seen it as low as like $1.50 to $2 per extension or per phone that you have in the office per month. And then it's basically like a service where the carrier, i.e. Vonage Business, i.e. Jive Communications, i.e. Nextiva, they have like an algorithm of sorts within their system that can detect calls that are coming in that are robocalls or that are spam and you won't ever see them. They'll never hit your caller ID or never hit your phone. It's, it's out of sight, out of mind. Um, again, it's not free, but for some companies, especially those of you watching that have high call volume um, in general, which means you're probably getting a higher percentage of annoying spam and robocalls, it's probably a great option for you. Um, we actually were working on a deal the other day for an apartment complex that only had three phones. And to give you an idea, um, they chose to go with Vonage Business for their phone system. And to give you an idea for that apartment complex who they had a known problem with getting a lot of robocalls and spam calls, I think we were able to get the uh, Vonage calls it Spam Shield, is what Vonage Business calls it. Different carriers call it, uh, Vonage calls it Spam Shield. Nextiva calls it Anonymous Call uh, Rejection. Uh, uh, anonymous call rejection, Nextiva, Spam Shield, Vonage Business. The Spam Shield for this apartment complex that only had three phones, it ended up looking like it was going to be less than $6 to cover the whole account. It was like $5.75 before taxes was what it was coming out to. So for those of you watching, I'm thinking between the things that I've already uh, mentioned as far as reducing the calls and then having something like this, a, uh, if, your, if your hosted uh, provider offers it, it would significantly, well, actually, if we, yeah, I mean, if we, if you look at um, selective blocking, along with cutting on an auto attendant, along with some sort of third party spam shield service with your existing uh, voice over IP hosted phone system provider, you should be able to greatly reduce uh, the amount of spam and unwanted calls that you get. So, um, in summary, Will this eliminate 100% of the cold calls and more importantly, those annoying robocalls that we've all come to love and enjoy? No, it will, nothing that I have mentioned and nothing that I know of on the market other than just ripping the phone system out of the wall and chucking it to the four winds will reduce the amount, will, will eliminate 100% of the spam calls. But I do believe the things that I've laid out, which we practice in our own organization with our system, We'll cut it down about 80%, maybe more. Um, so for those of you who are watching this video, I hope it was informative. For those of you who have a voice over IP phone system or any phone system for that matter, and you are getting an annoying amount of spam calls or robo calls, and you found a way to reduce those calls dramatically so that you could you know, perform business without wasting a lot of your time, let us know in the comments below how you did it. Let us know what you're encountering and exactly what method you used for your phone system to be able to actually reduce those calls or eliminate them so that you could do business uninterrupted. Um, again, I'm Prince Rich with Rich Technology Group. I hope this video is very informative and I'll chat with you guys again soon.